Hello, this is Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art. Today we're doing mystery stamping again. Every Wednesday we get together and do mystery stamping. It is a lot of fun. You get to follow along on these instructions here. This is emailed to you and also posted on the Facebook group Stamp with Delight on Mondays. And then we get together at 2 p.m. Eastern every Wednesday to um, put together what you've pre-cut and you can always do it but after you, you see what I've put together for the pan gets started here in just a second. I've been having you saw it let me know but uh last time i didn't see it and it did show up later so whatever let's just move on along here hello sharon hello tony if i don't see your name i think somebody else um said hello hello um i you have to give Streamyard permission to use your name so that i can see who you are but i'm so glad that I put my face out of here and we'll focus on the desktop here. I can see comments now. And we'll just go ahead and we're using almost an entire sheet for our base. You can tell that it's eight and a half um, by five and a half, but also eight and a half by four and an eighth for our base color. And isn't that funny? So this is almost a full sheet, right? Of cardstock here. And we just kind of snipped out just a little bar in the middle. We're going to take our trimmer out and do some scoring on those pieces. And if you don't have our Stampin' Up! trimmer, this thing is nice. You've got all of the measurements up here, both metric and imperial, but you also have it in the center here. You have this extending arm that goes all the way out to 17 inches, and you also have the the bar here that clicks and holds firm and um, and you have the scoring blade here too so you have a cutting and a scoring blade so and they both push out of the way which is really nice all right so let's go ahead and score this bigger piece first this is our regular half a sheet of cardstock we're just going to score this right in half just like regular so go ahead and put that in at four and a quarter on the long side there and then just score that that one is our card base and then this smaller one that's four and an eighth inches tall, we're going to score two times, one at two and three quarters, and then at five and five eighths. So we've got two score lines there. These are not even panels because this one's going to be a little bit smaller. And this one, the one that we scored first, is going to be the one that we are going to be cutting on. So we want to take the top of that skinnier one and the outside bottom and cut that. So inside at the top and bottom at, at the corner. Put that scoring mark right in your track here and then down here. And also I made this mistake when I made my other sample. Um, don't come in at the corner, the point here. Um, the second score line, Sharon, is five and five eighths. So that was two and three quarters and then five and five eighths. It's also in the description of the video too, if you um, are watching the replay, it's all written down too. But okay, we're gonna do the, the scoring track here and we don't wanna come in with our blade at this point. You wanna start your blade up here um, because otherwise you might crumple this little point here. It's not a huge deal, but that's kind of a bummer when you're making things and you go, oh, I kind of crunched my corner. <laughs> So that is what we are left with. And we can put our trimmer away. So you can save this little piece for um, scraps or punches or anything. And we'll go ahead and fold and burnish these pieces. So we've just got our regular card base. 
I'm burnishing these with my bone folder. Again, another essential tool in the craft room. And then this one's going to fold in. So we got kind of a little portfolio here. So this is the side that we scored on first, but this is how it will be looking when we are finished. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out our DSP and our neutral piece. Our neutral piece is the regular four inches by five and a quarter. And again, that will go on the inside of this card. And I've actually already stamped on mine. So I'll just go ahead and put that in here. It says, because you're awesome, because you guys are awesome for joining me. This is from Circle Sayings, one of our newer stamp sets in the new annual catalog. The a design for this one, I think it's a, it, this one's a fun fold. We always do fun folds, don't we? Um, but I, I feel like it's minimal work. <laughs> this one's a lot of cool without a lot of work. All right, so we've got that as our card base. And on the front here, we're going to take our biggest piece of DSP, the DSP number one, four inches wide by five and a quarter tall. That is super uh, easy also, just the same as that inside piece. It just gets glued right on the front there. So I'm just using my liquid glue. I like a little bit of wiggle room. If I need something to be extra firm or if it's 3D, I'll probably use Stamp and Seal Plus. So I probably will be grabbing that in a little bit. But okay, so here is our card base. We've got our center, we've got our front. We're gonna put that to the side for a second and focus on this little piece right here. So we have these other three DSP pieces. I said you need three, they can all be different or the same or whatever you want, but this is where these pieces will go. I'm using paper from the Countryside in um, DSP pack and it's so pretty. It just looks like, you know, fabric pieces. Every side is just beautiful. So I'm actually gonna have trouble figuring out which side I want where, but this is how this will go. This is going to go on the front here and one piece will go on the front of this little fold. Um, and then you'll have two more like so. And then we're gonna glue this little pocket down. So you chose the countryside in DSP too. Yes, it's so beautiful. You can't help but use it, right? It just screams to be used. Okay, so now I have to figure out which, which paper I want. And this is probably going to be the hardest part of my video. <laughs> so which piece, maybe you guys have an opinion, which, which piece should go on the front on uh, this piece. We've got this really light. This one reminds me of wallpaper. And we've got the bunny. I feel like that's too busy to go together. And I've got this lighter one. This one's the whitest one. White flowers. Again, kind of busy together. But we've got this one. I think that's a little dark on the front. So maybe this one. Maybe this one. I think that one looks good. That's mini flowers. And again, this one's a little busy for the front there too. What do you think? What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to say mini flowers or white. Ooh, Tony's using the stargazing DSP. I don't have that one yet. It's on my wish list, and I am super, super excited to see your sample. So don't make, make sure you don't forget to share that. Okay, does anybody have any mini flowers? Okay, this one. Tony says mini flowers. We're going to go with that one. All right, let's do it. Go ahead and glue this one on the front. And make sure we don't attach this to the card yet because we have to put something else on here. So don't leave that to the side and we will get to that. All right, so now I got to figure out how I want this inside to go. That one is a bit dark to go. Hmm. I want this. Maybe like so. I'm looking on my screen because I can kind of see 
<laughs> differently. So if it ever happened to you, you you work on at your, at your desk on something, and then you step away and you can see it from afar. It kind of looks a little different. It's kind of funny. And that one's a little dark. Okay. So I don't know. I do like all these patterns. <laughs> Let's just do it. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna have all the patterns. I don't want it this way. <laughs> I'll do it that way. I'm guessing I just have to put it down. Just glue it down. This paper makes it easy. Well, you said white on the left and blue stripes inside. Whoops. Oh, too late. Maybe next time. Okay, so now we can just run a little bit of glue along the bottom edge of this triangle to form our pocket. Yes, I'm using liquid glue. It could get messy if I did a thicker line, but look how thin that line is. Very thin and not quite up against the edge. Hopefully it doesn't squirt out. Ooh, doing good. Okay. I'll just give that a minute to adhere. Not a minute, 10 seconds or so. All right, now I'm gonna get my turn or uh, my stamp and seal plus out because we're gonna be working with this ribbon and I have 18 inches of ribbon, this beautiful navy ribbon. I love that we have navy ribbon now. I've been waiting for ages. Now we can just bring some melon mambo ribbon back. That would be great. Okay, so I'm going to put this around here and I want to tie a bow. So that my bow is even before I put some tear and tape on, I think. I think I just want to make sure that I've got enough edge or enough ribbon. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, okay, so look at this. I've got more ribbon on this side than this side. So I'm going to make a loop with my shorter side because this side needs a little bit more so that it can wrap around. And hopefully this will even it out a little bit. Huh? I did pretty good. Okay, so you do need one end to be just a smidge longer. Well, that's a bit of an angle. All right, scissors, come on. Okay, so now I'm going to scoot this. Ooh, throwing things. I'm just going to add a little bit of tear and tape in the middle. And you can put your ribbon at the bottom or near the top or wherever. I'm just going to put mine right there. And I also wanted to stick a little bit on the back. Actually, we have to stick a whole bunch on the back because we're sticking it to the front of the card. So, um, but I do want to stick some a little bit underneath the ribbon because we want that to really stay put when that is untied. So I'll just run that top and bottom. So right across there, maybe. And you need to buy more of that ribbon. I can't see your name, but I'm sure I know you. All right. So, yes, this ribbon is wonderful. I like this navy ribbon. All right. So there we have our little pocket, right? And we can untie that. And then we have this cute little pocket on the inside. Oh, battery running low. I better plug this in. That's why my computer was, oh, it's Vesta. Hello, see if I knew I knew you. All right, let's go ahead and tie that back up. And we have one or, or a couple more things. Now we just have to decorate, right? So we're gonna tie that. And I'm gonna take my shorter side, make my loop. And I'll fuss with that and make it look better for pictures later. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just get out of the way so I can add the front piece. 
So we wanted a small label with a small sentiment, and we're just going to stick that kind of right here on top of where this ribbon is. Yeah, that ribbon just needs a little bit of finessing, but we'll do that later. So I've got my double oval punch, which I love. Another one of my favorite punches, along with the bow punch. I love my double oval because it makes adding sentiment so easy because you get that back ring piece. And we're just going to add that with dimensionals. I'm going to do mini dimensionals because of this ribbon here. I want it to not be just attached to the ribbon, you know, in the center. I kind of want it to be on the outside there in case the ribbon comes up, which we use seal plus, so it probably shouldn't. But sometimes you put a ribbon down and if you attach something with dimensionals on the ribbon, it gets a little bit wiggly. So this will just make sure. Um, all I want you to do is make sure that it doesn't go past this edge because as you open it, whatever is hanging off of the edge will get bent. But you could add extra, um, you know, flowers and things. I, I just kept this one pretty simple, but you get pretty fancy with this front here, right? Okay. We got smile because you're awesome. So we've got a whole card on the inside, but you also have this cute little pocket. And I wanted to decorate this with some of these blue gems. This is from the Daisy Suite. Just, oh, those kind of disappear on there, don't they? That's really hard to see, but they do add some sparkle. Okay, we'll just add a few. Do we have any navy gems? We probably don't right now. But that looks good. All right, so there is our first turn. And of course, we have to decorate the envelope. And I have already done so. That is from the circle sayings. Also, this is that set, by the way. So we've got this fun little thing. And I used it in the, the bottom corners and then also on the flaps. And then we used um, smile because you're awesome. This one has great um, sayings and some fun little pictures that coordinate with the two and three quarter inch punch that goes with the bundle. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting a frog in my throat. So there's a, one of our cards. And I'll show you my alternative using the Irresistible Blooms paper. Not sure what, exactly what the name of that one was, but this one uh, has that nice crumb cake ribbon here. And then we've got our pockets in here. I love this paper. Isn't that so pretty? And then we, um, the coordinating gems from that suite. This is an online only, by the way, paper and stamp set and dies and all that. And then, um, oops, I didn't finish the inside. So <laughs> there is an inside and then you got a coordinating envelope. So let me know which one is your favorite. And I would love to see your samples um, when you um, go to the Facebook page, Stamp with Delight. You can add your samples there. Um, I just ask that you use mostly Stampin' Up! products because that's what I sell. And so other people watching can also uh, purchase any of those that you're showing. So thank you for watching. And again, if you are not on my email list already, make sure that you join. The link is in the description here. And I'm so thankful for all of you tuning in. And I hope that you have a fabulous weekend here. It's Memorial Day weekend. And um, thank you. Oh, you guys like both cards. Oh, good. <laughs> both are great. But the blues, yeah, the Irresistible Bloom set is really pretty too. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye, guys.